insieme a Tom Novi questa volta è un pomeriggio ovviamente potete vedere dietro di me quando guardate il video che siamo al porto di San Antonio ci troviamo al Ocean e il nostro guest è fantastico per la prima volta a Radio Kiss Kiss quindi le diamo la benvenuta a Tom Novi and welcome to Radio Kiss Kiss Thank you very much and ciao bella <laughs> Grazie mille, sei troppo simpatico Bene, we're going to start talking about you a little bit to... Um, Tell all our listeners of Radio Kiss Kiss in Italy who you are, because we know you a lot, but uh, I don't know if oh you have God. been in Italy uh, lately, if you ever have played there. In Italy, actually, Italy has never been my biggest market, that's true. It's sad, but probably the Italians don't like me. Well, I think Italy is kind of particular, you know, like not all DJs go there. I think it's a... Probably I think of a budget. We're gonna just say it like that. <laughs> but it you could be. So? It could be. It could be. For now nowadays it could be, but we expect you there very soon. Don't worry. Um yeah, but telling who is Tom Novi it's a bit difficult like to explain myself because it's too complicated actually, first of all. Um but yeah, I'm probably a nice guy, handsome. <laughs> Uh, true, always always respectful with the ladies. I'm trying to make good house music. Okay, so let's start like this. You started your career as a pro uh, progressive DJ producer. How through the years you have developed? You or think am so? I, oh, was it I meant to, I think Superstar so. Superstar was not progressive. I think actually I really the really background first of all came from hip hop. I was like when I was 16, I was a hip hop DJ, scratching DMC champion and all this kind of stuff. So and then I developed and then I, the first time I came to Ibiza 89 Uh, this was something totally new to me. So Adamski, Le Lewis, and all these kinds guys played there, and I was like, I, all I wanted to is to become a house DJ. So I started uh, playing house music, and I first brought out my first record was uh, a track called "I House You," and the second one was a track called um, "Superstar," with uh, with, uh, with a friend of mine with Eniac. So yeah. and this track went straight top 10 in 20 countries. So <coughs> actually, I think this was like the first really big thing for me. So I was like, I became a Ministry of Sound resident and then I, in, I reinvented myself and then I came to the progressive side and then I go back to house and then more techie and more minimal and more disco. You know, a DJ has to do <coughs> a lot of reinventment, otherwise he gets bored for himself and for the people. Well, definitely, because nowadays <laughs> with the industry that is so competitive, you have to be innovative, uh, you know, am I right on that? Yes, you have course. to be what? Innovative, innovativo. You have to be creative. You have to be reinvent yourself thought, all the time. I thought being, being a DJ is just having a lot of drinks and a lot of groupies <laughs> and taking a, a lot of drugs. It's, it's innovator. What was the word? Was it innovator? Innovativo. <laughs> innovativo. Uh, no, it's like... Listen, to be honest, DJ, DJ nowadays is, it can be two sides, you know, you can go the creative side and be respected by your colleagues and, and, and try to make some good music. And on the other side, you can also spend a lot of money on promotion, on uh, your Facebook fans, on Twitter, and you can make a multi-million label deal, 360, so the label earns money from your bookings and all that kind of stuff. There's plenty of uh, variety nowadays in our DJ business. I think I'd rather be one of the old school guys that's just a DJ and I don't want to spend too much money on my Facebook friends. Rather you become a friend of mine or not, I don't give a shit anymore, you know? A true artist, Tom Novi here on Radio Kiss Kiss, but uh, you have collaborated with humongous artists around the world. Of course. Of course. Which is the one on your wish list that you haven't been able to reach yet? Oh, there's plenty of them actually. I think there's a lot of good artists out there. I, I like to work with pop, pop music artists. The problem is with the pop music artists nowadays that they only go for the trends. So now that EDM is big, so they probably gonna wish themselves more on a lesser remix than a Tom Novi remix, which is, which is fine for me. But um, also, I think when the people spread their minds, there's a lot of good talent that's out there. Uh, singers like Dylan or uh, artists like... Uh, Why? Like name some of the of the German ones, like Paul Kalkbrenner, for example, or all these pe people. They making great music, you know. So, um, which is the one on my wish, li wish list? This is really hard to say, actually. Elton John, maybe. Wow, fantastic, Elton John. We're talking about one of the number one top five in the world. So that's a very high wish list. The funny thing behind it is actually that I just uh, we did a rec I did a remix for Elton John for Rocket Man with Paul Harris and another friend of mine in London. And it was on spec, so we got the original files and we, we spent so much work on it. And I think it's a really, really good remix. 
uh, but the record company didn't like it, so it, it never will be come out. And I promised to Elton and to all the other people that I never will bootleg it, so it's just in my pocket. Well, it might not come out now. It might come out a little later on because it sometimes it could happen. Maybe you will maybe. have to remake, you know, uh, redo it a little bit. I don't know. Uh, yeah, maybe. What's the word? Innovative. Innovative, yeah. <laughs> maybe I wasn't innovative enough. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> all right. What about Ibiza? You're coming here. You're not new at all because you've been coming here for years. What's the change that you have seen in the island throughout this uh, this whole time? Um. Yeah, I mean, I had great times here. That's that's true. I mean, I was a space resident since 17, for 17 years, and uh, this was like probably one of the best times of my life. But um, yeah, the island changed. Of course, it changed. Everything, music business changed. The island changed. Actually, I think that the island take it a bit too far with the prices. It's maybe a little bit too much um, chasing for VIP people and rich people, and not taking care enough of the like smaller budget people they actually made this kind of island and they made this vibe on the island because this was an island for celebration for everybody and it was not about only being in the VIP area now this goes maybe a little bit too far and it's a bit sad that it went that way I probably understand both sides because the clubs want to want to earn money everybody wants to earn money so you know now they're chasing for these kind of guests but I think that's what that was the reason actually why we invented this kind of party here in San Antonio actually the venue is really cool It's, I think it's one of the hottest venues so far this year. And um, we wanted to make a, or create a party, actually, that um, is a day party. So you can come midday, enjoy some time at the pool, read a magazine, listen to great deep house music and great beach house chill out music. And then, you know, from step by step, we wanted to take it too far into a pool party and then maybe later on we're gonna go crazy and all get naked in the pool or whatever it is you know you never know this is Ibiza boys going wild over here as well oh, at the boy. ocean together with Tom Novi and Radio Kiss Kids this yeah. is a lot of fun to be with you today this afternoon uh, thank you very much again for being with us but uh, I want Thanks to uh, uh, know a little bit more about the, what you're doing lately are you having any upcoming releases mm -hmm. There's a new single coming up. Um, there's just a guy um, who's like one of my support guys is Christopher Groove. He is, I think, one of the guys you have to watch. He's a super talented producer and he's a really nice guy. He's a party animal. He's a talented DJ. And we did a record together. It's called um, the Love. Wow, very nice. The perfect word. Yeah. So it's, that's what's coming out in... Um, I think uh, second week of September, which is shooting the video here actually next week or the week after, it depends. And then, um, what else? Working on the album. Um, I just had a record with a new new singer girl called Vera Loves Music. She's super hot and super sexy. Actually, I'm not sure if I'm gonna do another record with her because she looks much better in the video than I do. <laughs> But um, yeah, I mean, uh, it's yeah, it's working, and I'm glad I'm doing my little label, Nouveau Niveau, supporting new artists. Um, You know, always for the surge of the unique sound of the one that gives you goosebump. That's what we do. This is fantastic. Tom Novi for Radio Kiss Kiss. We hope to see you soon in Italy. You have to come because uh, there's a lot from you that we can receive over there, you know, music-wise and everything else-wise okay, because yeah, you are super, super nice. You have I to promise. promise us. I'm coming. I promise. All right. So this is Tom Novi from uh, Radio Kiss for Radio Kiss Kiss uh, from Ocean here on Ibiza. Say hello to our listeners. Hello, Radio Kiss Kiss listeners. This is Tom Nowy with your super sexy host next to me. And now we're going to have a lot of shots, a lot of beers, and a lot of titties, and a lot of naked asses, and uh, let's do it. All right, this is Radio Kiss Kiss together with Tom Nowy from Ocean Club here on San Antonio Ibiza. We'll see you tomorrow, and stay tuned. Bye.